Hi hooligans! So today we're going to be talking about gold leaf. Gold leaf is basically just decorative. It adds a cool texture. It does way better than that stupid glitter paint. I have yet to figure out how to work that stupid glitter paint. This is what it looks like at Hobby Lobby and it's basically just little tiny sheets of gold. And when I say gold, some people have gold and that's really good for them. I am proud of them for digging that gold up and then swooshing it down into a sheet. Can you see? Yeah, buddy. So it was originally $10.99 Bam, just heifer got it for $2.74. So dope. I think it was because it was turning like a blue color. I'll show you the really crappy one. <laughs> so this is what the other one looked like. And I thought, you know what? There's bound to be some good stuff in there somewhere. I don't know. Okay, so the front page is like garbage like this, clearly. Ta-da! Dude, this stuff, this stuff, you can't carry it from like one room to the next because the wind will break it. But it's like a book. Do you see this? I'm holding this really goofy. Ah! It's also not stuck to anything. Very delicate little organism. That was a book of 25 sheets versus on Amazon, you can get 100 sheets for $8.99. I would recommend before you use it to make sure that you put a cloth or a paper towel or something over your table because I accidentally gold leafed our table, which it kind of looks cool. So I'm not really complaining about it. I keep it 100 as the children say. Do the children say things like that these days? I'm not sure, I'm very old. Here is the reason I wanted to make this video because there's a lot of YouTube videos that say you need this gold size adhesive to adhere it to your surface, whatever you're adhering it to. I put it on wood coasters, I put it on a pot. So far, my theory has not been proven wrong that you can use Mod Podge instead of your gold size. I was able to save time and money by just using Mod Podge because most crafters have Mod Podge just like around the house. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I was like, dude, dope, I got my gold leaf, but they were out of the gold size. So then I talked to the lady at Hobby Lobby and I was like, yo, listen. And she goes, well, you know, we're getting a truck um, tomorrow. I was like, well, there was a tornado afoot. I wasn't really gonna risk dying via tornado just to gold leaf a coaster. And like y'all listen, if you could use something around the house, that's gonna save you time because you don't have to go to Hobby Lobby. Not to mention the gas that it takes to get to Hobby Lobby, which is like $40,000 at this point. I went on a soapbox there. I used Mod Podge, it worked. It was fine. I used it on wood to start out. So what I did was I just dabbed on the Mod Podge where I wanted the gold to stick. And then I put a sheet of gold on top of it. And then I actually, for this one, I actually waited an hour or so because I wanted it to be completely dry. And then after it was dry, all I did was take a brush and sweep away the excess and it went everywhere. That's how I that's how I ended up gold leafing my table. It looks nice though, it's glittery. Now I'm sure some professional artist is gonna be like, how dare you use Mod Podge? But like, homie, listen, I do what I can to save money and I also do what I can to not go out in the middle of a tornado. So again, it was super easy. All I did was I applied the Mod Podge I put the gold leaf layer on top of it. I patted it down with my finger a little bit. I waited for an hour, waited for it to dry, took a brush, swept away the excess, and bam, it was fine. Like, subscribe, comment. Don't like, don't subscribe, don't comment. Be true to yourself. Later.